what are the things you have done in, uh, that how you can correct your answers. The first question, you have a circle with 14 centimeter radius, right? So then the radius of the circle, it is 14 centimeter. Then you want to find the perimeter. If it is a full circle, Pute, that I told you, we use a separate term for the perimeter. What it is? The circumference, right? They have given the radius value 14 centimeter. To find the circumference or the perimeter of this circle, the formula we do have 2, 5, R. And last week I told you to use the 5 value, it is 22 over 7 and the radius value here it is 14. Then you can simplify 7 times 1, 7 times 2. Then you have uh, the 3 values to multiply 2 times 22 times 2. So then what is the answer when you multiply them together? It, it is 88 centimeter. So this is the answer for the first question where you want to find the perimeter of this shape, the full circle. And we use a special term for this that is the circumference. So then the circumference of this circle is 88 centimeters. So then we will move to the second question. Can you remember the second question we had half circle. Children that you want to be mindful because here we are finding the Perimeter, right? Perimeter in the sense that we are finding the, uh, the outer boundary. Here, what is the radius value they have given? 3.5, right? So, this is 3.5. And can you remember I told you that to find the perimeter, you start from one corner and first you go along this curvy path. So, that is the first step you should do, right? You find that this step one, Thereafter, you should come from this corner to this side. So, that is your second step. So, this is the easiest way where you can find the perimeter of this kind of a uh, sector where you start from one corner and then you have that the curvy path and then you come along the straight line, right? So, then you can write here the perimeter is equal to in detail if you want to write that you can write the perimeter is equal to curve length, right? Curve length and the straight length, right? You have the curve part and the straight part. So then the curve length and the straight length we will take. How to get the curve length for the, the full circle? It is 2 pi r. The full circle it is 2 pi r. But here, I don't have a full circle. Instead, I have half circle. Therefore, I divide it by 2. Then the straight length is what? This radius value and this radius value, right? So from here to here, it is one radius. And from here to here, another radius. So then all together, it is 2R, right? So then R plus R means 2R. So then I can simplify this 2 and this 2. So then I get 5R. 5 is 22 over 7. Then the R value they have given 3.5. So that is one portion of this question. And the next one, you want to multiply the radius value by R. So then 3.5 into 2, right? So then the 7 times 1 and 7 times 0 0.5. By now that you should be able to do this simplifications and the calculations quickly. For that, you want to have a proper practice. 7 times 1 and 7 times 0 0.5. So then 22 you multiply by 0 0.5 that you can do them in the working column separately. It gives me 11 and the 2 multiply by 3.5 it gives me 7. So then all together my answer is 18 centimeter. So that is the perimeter of this half circle. Okay. Number three, that we had the shape, it is a quarter circle, right? So it is a quarter circle. And when you have the quarter circle, that if you start from this corner, right? So this is a quarter circle. 
the radius value they have given 7 centimeters and this one also should be 7 centimeters. Now what will be my journey? I start from this corner and I take this straight line. Then I want to get this straight line and I want to go along this curvy path. That is my journey. This is my first step. This is the second step and this is the third step, right? Again, that how can I do that? The perimeter of this shape that I have three steps now, not like the earlier one. So then you want to get the curvy path. That means step three. And then you want to get the step one and step two, okay? So then the three is the curvy part. We know the full circle, it is two, five, R pute. But here you don't have the full circle, no. You have the part of that. You have the part, so then you divide it by four, okay? So then the curve part, it is only the part of the full circle. And that the step one is the radius value. And the step two also the radius value. So then when you add them together, it is 2R. Here you can simplify 2 times 1 and 2 times 2. Can you remember that I told you when you have this kind of thing, 5R over 2, don't keep it like that because 5 value it is 22 over 7. 5 value is 22 over 7. Then when I have that the 5R over 2, that you have to write it like this, 22 over 7 into 7. And again, you divide this by 2, kind of complicated. Therefore, best way to write uh, this value that you can write this as that here plus 2R. And that uh, some students, I know that they cut it like this, which you can't do because they, they are separated by the addition sign. So then what you can do, Pute, you write 5R. Divide by 2 like this. Then it's easier to cal do the calculation. And 2 times R. Now we will substitute the value put there. 5 is 22 over 7. And the R is 7. That whole thing you want to divide by 2. Right? For that you want to add the 2R value. That means 2 times 7. Okay. So then the 7 and 7 you can cancel. So then you have 22 over 2 plus 14. 22 over 2, it is 11. So then the 11 plus 14. So then the answer is that when you add 11 and 14, it is 25 centimeters. Right? So before moving to the next one, you just double check whether you have done it correctly or not. Right? So then uh, you that here you want to divide it by yeah, 4 because it is a quarter circle. 2, 5 are divided by 4. Then uh, when I'm using that the 5, 22 over 7, it's kind of complicated to keep the, the division 2 as a fraction. Therefore, I wrote the division 2 with the division sign because it's easier for me to do that division. Then the 5 value, 22 over 7, Multiply by the radius value, 7 and 7 you can cancel. Then that you have 22 divided by 2, it gives me 11 and 2 times R, that is 14. Then 14 and 11 when I add, it gives me 25. In the question number 4, you have a small sector, right? The small sector of the circle. So we'll see what are the information we do have. Here it is 60 degrees and the radius value is 21 centimeters, right? The radius value is Miss, 21 Miss. centimeters. Yes, Puta? Miss Kevin, uh, I couldn't write the answer in the question. Yeah, Puta, I will send them that here that this is the answer. So then I will send all the answers. Then you can later copy down that. You understood the lesson, right? The sum that how we did it, you understood. Yes, yeah, so then later you can copy down the answer. With that. Right, so then here the uh, fourth one you have the sector. Now you just see what is the journey, right? That I start from one corner, I take the curvy part. So this is the first step I should take. So then this is the second step. 
and this is the third step I should take. So then I have come to the, uh, the initial position where I started the journey. So then I have go along the shape that without missing, without uh, avoiding any of the sides. So then how to get the perimeter of this kind of thing kute? First, you want to get the curvy path, right? For that, you want to add the straight edge step two and the straight edge step three. We will see that how we can get the first step. You know that the full circle, it is 25R, okay? Full circle means that the 360 degree nipute. So then the 360 degree uh, perimeter is 25R. So then the one degree perimeter, you want to divide it by 360. But here you don't have three, one degree. Instead, we have 60 degree. Therefore, I multiply it by 60. I repeat, if you have the full circle, full circle perimeter is 25R. Okay. So then 25R perimeter, you get that when you go along this, that means 360 degree. So then if I am going 360 degree that when I'm completing one circle or the revolution, the perimeter is 25R. I want to just check that if I just go one degree, what will happen? It is 25R divided by 360. But here in this diagram, it is not 360, it is not one degree. Instead, they have given the 60 degree. How to find the 60 degree arc length or the curve length? Could they? So then 25R divide by 360 multiply by 60. That is what I did here inside the bracket, right? So first of all, you want to write down that calculation. So then 25R, you divide by 360 and you multiply it by uh, 60. So then I write the second step, it is 21 centimeters. And then the third step also 21 centimeters, that is R and R value. And we'll see whether we can simplify this. Yes, 60 times 1 and 60 times 6. So then further I can simplify. Yes, I can simplify how that I will take a different color. Then you can see it well. 2 times 1 and 2 times 3. Now what happened, Pute? That you have 2, 5, uh, that you have 5R divided by 3. And that the 21 and 21 straight away I get the answer it is 42. So then here I can add 42. So I told you when you have the division like this, it is better to write this division 3 with the division sign. It's easy for me to do the calculation. So then the 5 means that the 22 over 7 and the R value is 21 put a. And this whole thing you divide by 3. And that is the first part of this sum. And you add 42 for this, right? Now we'll see whether we can simplify. Yes, 7 times 1, 7 times 3. So then how you can write this? Uh, 22 times 3, the whole thing you divide by 3 plus 42. Now that the 3 times 1 and 3 times 1. Then I have 22 and 42 together. So then when I add them, my answer will be 64 centimeters. Am I clear? 64 centimeters. So then this is how you want to get the answer. So right. So then the question number five that we have again a sector pute, right? And here we have something like this. Okay. And here they have given this is 120 degrees and this is 7 centimeters and this is 7 centimeters, right? And that you want to start from one corner like earlier. I will show you the journey. And I will go along this curvy path. Then I go with the straight edge. Then I go like this. Then I come to the initial stage. This is step one. And this is step two. And this is step three. Right? So then after marking these, this is very easy to do. 
you write that the perimeter is equal to step 1 and step 2 and step 3. We will see how we can calculate the step 1. The full circle it is 5 R square. Sorry, 2 5 R nipute. The full circle it is 2 5 R. Okay. So then here we don't have full circle. Instead we have the uh, sector. What we do when we have the degree value like this pute. 2 5 R we divide by 360. And we multiply the degree value, the theta value they have given. And for that, you add the step 2, that is 7 centimeter. The next step, 7 centimeters. When you add 7 centimeter and 7 centimeter, it gives me 14 centimeters. Then here I see whether I can simplify this 360 and 120. What is the relationship? Here it is 1 and here it is 3. Now what happened? What do you have? 2, 5 R over 3 plus 14. Now look at this, how I am dealing with this fraction. First you get the 2, 5 R value. That answer you divide by 3. For that you add 14. Then I will substitute the values 2 times 22 over 7 times R is 7. That part. And then the whole thing I divide by 3 like this and I add 14 for that, right? You want to be familiar with the steps I am doing here, Pute. You can uh, that the practice the same sum again and again. It doesn't matter because you want to practice with the calculations, right? Here that you have 7 times 1, 7 times 1. So then what you have? 2 times 22, it is 44. 44 you divide by 3, then you have 14. So this is a, a fraction and a whole number. What I do, I convert this into fraction. So then the denominator becomes 1. Then I make the common denominator that the here it is 3 and 3. So then this becomes 44. So then the 14 you multiply by 3. It is 42. So when you add them together, this 42 and 44, it gives me 86 over 3 centimeters. You can keep it as it is or else you can simplify this 86 over 3 that you can write 3 times 2. Uh, so then 2 times 8, 3 times 8, 28 times uh, 3 it is 84 and then you have 2 over 3 centimeters. You can keep it like this. We'll see whether we did this correctly. Then 2, 5 R over 360 multiplied by 120. That is correct. So then 120, 360 that when you simplify it is 3. Then 2, 5 R divided by 3. So then you want to add the radius value 7 and 7. It gives me 14. So then the 2, 5 R means 2 times 22 times 7 divided by 7. It is 44. That 44 I want to divide by uh, 3. That is 44 over 3. I want to add 14 for this. So then when I take the common denominator, 14 into 3, it is 42. That 42 and 44 I add, then it gives me 86. So then how to simplify that the 86 over 3. So then 3 times 28, I know 84. And that 84, the remainder is 2 over 3. So that is the end of those five questions. Right. So this is uh, the exercise 11C in your textbook, right, where you want to use the Five value 3.142. In the exam also you want to uh, uh, check what is the five value you want to use. Sometimes they may ask you to use 22 over 7. Sometimes they may ask you to use that the 3.142. Right. Or sometimes it can be 3.14, the approximate value. Right. So then the based on the information you have, you want to Follow the instructions and do the sum. 
Now here that they have given the instruction to find the perimeter of each shape. What I'm planning to do that I'll take one specific shape that is question number one and I will find the find both the perimeter and the area for this, then you can get that the overall idea about this. Right here, children, they have given the four centimeters in the middle. So then you want to understand that means they have given us the diameter value, right? If it is the, peri uh, the radius value, put it, they should give it a, like this, that the four centimeters, something like this. But here they have written the 4 cm in the middle. That means they have given the diameter value. First of all, you want to learn how to read the information available in the question. Thereafter, you can write the diameter value which is 4 cm. So that means the radius value is 2 cm. Okay. Then the 5 value we are going to use that is 3.142. Okay. So then if you want to find the perimeter, you know now if it is a semicircle, right, we have two uh, the paths to follow. First, you want to go along the curvy path, then you want to go along the straight line, right? We have two steps to follow to cover the whole uh, the journey, right? So then how, what I'm doing that finding the perimeter, Right, so then we have discussed that how to find with a semicircle, but I will do that the curvy part or the curve length. What is the curve length? That the full circle it is 2 5 r, and the curve that this is here it is a half circle, therefore I divide it by 2. After that, you want to add the straight line, straight line either you can take it as d. Or you can use this value as 2R. Both are correct. Right? Diameter value or the 2R value. Now here that I substitute. The first I simplify 2 and 2. Then I have 5R. 5R plus the 2R value. So then here the 5 value is 3.142. And the R value it is 2. Okay? And the plus then 2 times the R value, uh, sorry, R value it is 2. So then I write it is 2. That straight away you can use the diameter value also. Then you go to the working column 3.142. You write without the decimals and you multiply this by 2. Then the answer will be 6.284. Right, for that, you want to add 2 times 2, 4. So then when you add 4 here, right? So then the answer will be, I will let move it up. So then the answer will be 10.284 centimeters. Now I'm done with the perimeter part. I told you that using the same diagram now, I'm even though they have asked us to find only the perimeter, and I asked you to find the area also. How to find the area of the semicircle? This is straightforward. You know the full circle, it is 5R squared. And you want to divide it by 2, right? Because we have the uh, semicircle here. The 5 value, it is 3.142. Then the R value, it is 2. And another R value we have because R squared nibute here that if need you can write 5 multiply by R multiply by R divide by 2. Then you substitute the value and here you have 2. So then this 2 and 2 you can simplify and uh, 3.142 when you multiply it by 2. It gives me 6.284. Then I write here 6.284 centimeter squared. But children, that I forgot to mention you one thing. Can you remember here they have given us another special requirement to keep the final answer? You want to correct your answer to three significant figures. So then here that my answer should be that I want to understand the third significant figure. 2 is the third significant figure. I look at the next number. It is 8. That means it is more than 5. So then I write this is 
ten point three centimeters. Then inside the bracket, you want to write three SF. And here also I write six point two eight centimeters squared. And inside the bracket, I write three SF. Right. So that is all about the first question: the perimeter and the area, where you have the semicircle. You find the perimeter. To find the perimeter, you get the curve length and the straight length. You add them together. That is the perimeter. And when you find the area, you get the area of the full circle. That is pi r squared. And you divide it by 2. It gives you the area of the semicircle. In the second question, right, you have again that the uh, quadrant, right? So the quarter circle. Right, quadrant. So then what are the information you have here that they have given the radius value, right? They have given the radius value, it is 3 centimeters, and that the phi value it is 3.142. How to find the perimeter? Again, you want to understand that here you have uh, two three steps. What are those steps that you go along this curve path? Then you have the straight edge. Then you have another straight edge. So then you go like this. So that is we call the perimeter and you come to the initial point. If you start, point, start from that point and you go cover the curve length, then you come along the straight edge that is the radius value and you go up again along the radius value. Then uh, you are covering the whole uh, shape that the outer boundary that we call the perimeter. Now the full circle perimeter it is 2 5 r but here we don't have the full circle instead we have a quadrant or as a quarter circle therefore I divide this by uh, 4 and you want to add the radius value and the other radius value. You simplify this 2 times 1 and 2 times 2 and here the R and R value, it gives you 6 centimeters. So then because this is 3 centimeters and this is also 3 centimeters, together it gives me 6 centimeters, right? So then the 5R value, that the 3.142, you multiply by 3 and you divide it by 2 and at the 6 centimeters. Now what we can do, you go to 3.142, you multiply by 3. What will be the answer 3.142 when you multiply by 3? It gives me 9,426 and I want to divide this 9,426. Now I want to divide by 2. What will be the answer when I divide this by 2? It gives me 4,713. That means it gives me 4.713. For that, I add 6, right? So then the, my answer will be 10.713. But we know that we have a special requirement in the question to keep the final answer with the three significant figures. So then the answer will be 10.7 centimeters inside the bracket I write 3 SF. So then the second part I'm doing here that I'm finding the area of this. The full circle it is 5 R squared. Here as I have the quadrant I divide this by 4. So then how I'm going to write this 5 times R times R. The whole thing I divide by 4. So then here it is 3.142 the R value it is 3 and another R value it is 3. The whole thing I divide by 4. So then you want to go to your working column and do this. I told you when you have the decimal value children, don't think about the decimal. You just multiply that the 3142 by 3. Then we got the answer 9426 now. So then you can multiply that 9,426 9, again by 3, right? So then 9,426, when you multiply by 3, it gives me 28,278. Then you divide 28,278 by 
4 and see what is the answer you get. So then it gives me uh, that the 7069.5. But that this is not the answer. Why? That all these calculation I did without considering the three decimal places. If I consider the three decimal places, then the, my answer will be 7.0695. I want to correct this to the three significant figures. So then the answer will be 0, 7.07 .07 centimeter squared. And I want to write the final answer inside the bracket. That is three significant figures. So this is how I should get the answer for question number two, a perimeter and the area. So then the area, it is 3.142, you multiply by three. Again, you multiply by three, that is the full circle value. And you divide that answer by four, which gives me 7.0695. When I correct it to the three significant figures, it gives me 7.07. .07. Question number three, it is a little bit different from the questions which we did earlier. But you want to understand this is a compound figure, Pute. Compound figure that which consists that the square and a semicircle, right? First, you want to understand. And this line is a dotted line. That means it is not connected why I drew this dotted line to show you the two separate figure figures in the same like the uh, compound figure. The first one we have a semicircle, the other one we have a, a square, right? To find the perimeter, what I told you, whatever the shape put a, you start from one corner, right? And you go along this. So then this is the first step. Okay, then step number one, then you come to this level, then you go from here to here. So this is the second step, then you go from here to here. Okay, so that is your third step and you go from here to here. That is your fourth step. Now you have come to the initial position which you started the journey. This is how whatever the shape, maybe a simple shape or a compound shape, maybe a sector or that the half circle, quarter circle, three quarter circle, anything today. You start from a particular point and you go along the, the shape like this. Okay. So then we will find that we know the uh, step number two, the value is what? It is four centimeters. In the step number three, what is the value? It is again four centimeter. And step number four also, the value is four centimeters. Now the problem is to find the step number one, Nipote. Step number one, you can understand it is a semicircle. How to find the semicircle? Two five r divide by two, right? So when I simplify, the value is five r. Okay. The 5 value is 3.142. The R value is 2. When you multiply 3.142 by 2, that earlier we got the answer, that is 6.284. That is this curvy length. Okay. And that when you are when you were finding the semicircle value put there, Earlier, you did something that when you have that you got the semicircle part and you added the R and R, but here I'm not doing it. Why I'm not adding this R and R value here, Pute? Because you don't have this R, then R and R line here in this figure. If you have the darker line only, you let the measure that. Other than that, all the other dotted lines are kind of the imaginary lines which shows you which uh, shows you the uh, path of the journey and the shapes of the compound shape inside the compound shape. What are the subsections you have? Therefore, here you don't want to add the R and R value. You want to understand when you go around the shape, you have the step one. Step 2, step 3 and step 4. Or oh, only all these four steps you have. What you do, you add them together. 
to wait for then you add uh, for that these three when you add them together it is 12 centimeters so then straight away you can add 12 centimeter here so then the answer is 18.284 centimeters but you want to keep the answer to the third significant figure so then the 18.3 centimeters inside the bracket you write 3 sf right that is the perimeter of the shape in the question number 3, right? Now, the, the next one, I want to find the area. How to find the area? First, you find the area of part A and then you find the area of part B. When you add them together, it gives me the area of the compound shape. This is something which you have done that kind of that the compound shape you have done in grade 6 also. So how to find the area of part A? Area of A you find. So then that is 5R square divided by 2. So then you write that the 3.142 multiplied by 2. Again you multiply by 2 and you divide it by 2. So, when you simplify this, 3.142 multiplied by 2, it gives you 6.284. No? So, then you keep that this 6.284 centimeters squared. So, this is the answer A. Okay. So, then the next one that is square, then you find the area of B. How to find it? 4 centimeter multiplied by 4 centimeter because it is a square. No? So that gives me 16 centimeters square. So this is my answer B. Then I want to find the area of the full figure. I write the area of the compound shape. Area of the compound shape. Like this. And you write that what you do here. That you add the A value and the B value like this. So then you add these two values. 6.284 and 16 you add them together, right? So then when you add them together, it gives me 22.284 centimeters squared. And you write the final answer, 22.3 centimeters square. Inside the bracket, you write 3 sf. This is how you want to find the uh, area and perimeter of this kind of shape. Hope all of you can understand. First, I, I found that I will that we separate this footage. So then the, this part, this calculation, it's all about the perimeter. Right? About the red color region, it's all about the perimeter. There you calculate the curve length one. Then the step number two, step number three, step number four, you add everything together and you get the perimeter value. How to find the area of this kind of a shape, Pute? You want to understand the shapes which you can find inside the compound shape. Here I have shape A and shape B. Shape A is a, a semicircle. Shape B is a square. And when you add them together, you know how to find the area of a semicircle. You know how to find the area of a square. You find them separately and you mark them and the A answer, B answer. To get the area of the full compound shape, Pute, you want to add the value A and B and you keep the final answer to third significant figure.